Hey guys, how are you? Geeky Sorb here, and I know it. I haven't made a video for like six months or so. I was really busy with um, making my own company, so I'm starting my own web shop, and I had a lot of stuff to do there. I had really busy with school and exams and just homework. So from now on, I have vacation for like one and a half month or so, and um, I'm gonna make one video every two days. <laughs> guys I'm gonna start a collaboration with someone in Hong Kong uh, we're gonna start in early August I think but uh, this video is all about connecting your Kinect uh, to your iMac or your Windows computer if you prefer to use Windows uh, make a scan and then afterwards print it out so what you guys will need is your computer of course um, a Kinect uh, I prefer to use the Xbox 360 Kinect uh, because it's really cheap, you can get it for like 20 bucks on eBay. You also need a cable, the adapter to charge your uh, Kinect uh, through a wall outlet. It looks like this. And the other side has a USB. Uh, this is your Kinect uh, adapter. Before I'm gonna make a new scan, it's really nice to have someone that can hold the Kinect sensor. But if you don't have someone that can hold it, you can go to Thingiverse and download a connector. Um, that uh, puts the Kinect onto your tripod if you have one. So just type in Kinect or Kinect tripod and this is the one we need. So you see it's a pretty small file. You can put it below the Kinect into the screw uh, holes and uh, put that part on the tripod and it should hold it. There we go, you can see it's printing very well. There we go. So I went to my uncle and I found this uh, thing because I couldn't find one at home. Uh, we were there just visiting them and I asked him if I can look in his toolbox. And my cousin thought he was funny so he scared me. Here's the video. <laughs> So uh, I was scared a little bit, but uh, now we can go and finish this project. I did only find one screw for now, um, I will find another one. So I want to hot glue this so it won't be loose in there and it will fit a little bit better. See I put it on top of it too, so it won't damage the um, tripod. But I'm gonna clean it up a little bit around it and uh, inside it and then we're gonna try it out. So here we go guys, this is the Kinect stand. Everything is ready guys, just connect. See what I did there? And then the final step is connect the USB of the Kinect. And if that light does not flash, you pretty much screwed up this process. So here we go, here's my Kinect. I taped down one side because I just had one screw. If I had two, this was not a problem. Uh, I put it on my table so it's higher and it's perfect, uh, it's just a little bit above my head and uh, we can go to the Mac and uh, say we want to record it and uh, as you can see, you can see me here, you can see me spinning and that's what we will do and that should be ready and as you can see the print turned out well so um, let's go to the reconstruct software um, here it is in the process. I don't know what reconstruct is. Oh, you can reconstruct it once again so it will go over all the files slowly. You can see the hair is in a really good detail on this one. And I will have a nice watertight project. And it's coloring it in right now because the Kinect um, scans colors as well. But I don't want that, so remove colors, run. Here we go. Export the model as STL because I have the full version of the software. I didn't buy it of course, but um, you can buy it if you want to. I like to export it in millimeters. And I just call it model of me. Um, that should be alright and go save it on the desktop. That's too big actually, but you can see the file 
um, you can see me, you can see the detail in the hair, like it flows, floats backwards. Um, it looks really good actually, I didn't expect this from a Kinect scanner. So I'm gonna cut this off from this part, from this line and I print it out. But I will show that to you guys in another video. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more and I will see you in my next video.